Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Hoddle or Sell, where we'll be breaking down Thor 337. In the end, we will let you know if we plan to hodl or sell. As always, this is not financial advice, but purely for entertainment purposes only. Also, please make sure to subscribe, like, and hit that notification button to receive weekly updates on all of our content. This Thursday, October 14th, we are getting the Bronze Age comic Thor 337, which contains the first appearance of Beta Ray Bill, story covering art by Walt Simonson. The character was initially created to be a surprise, an apparent monster who unexpectedly turns out to be a great hero. Bill is a Corbinite alien warrior with a horse-like head, and after an altercation with Thor, proved worthy of wielding Thor's hammer, Mjolnir. The hammer transformed Bill into a Thor-like being, and Thor's father, Odin, is in shock over this. He then decides to send Thor and Bill to a hot, desolated area, a place even dangerous for gods like Thor, to fight to death over the hammer, Mjolnir. It's here that an explosive battle takes place between the two contestants. Being equal in power, it's Bill who's victorious due to his ability to withstand intense heat. Showing mercy to Thor, Bill takes him back to Asgard alive. Showing mercy to Thor proves to Odin that he is more than worthy to wield the power of Thor. So what does Odin do? He commissions the creation of a new weapon that was created similarly to Monir. This is how Beta Ray Bill gains his own Asgardian weapon, Stormbreaker, which in the comics is a hammer, not an axe like we've seen in the MCU. Beta Ray Bill would continue to fight alongside the Asgardians in many famous battles, including amongst them as brothers, and they would always welcome him as one. We still have not found out the total edition numbers for this drop, but Vivi did mention in a recent tweet that it will be a limited edition run, so I anticipate a 10,000 edition series, making it extremely exclusive. Thor 337 as a 9.8 grade is currently valued at $1,050 by GoCollect, with 6,975 total editions on the CGC consensus. For my final verdict, I give this book a sell. As much as I love this comic and the story, this limited edition comic could find tremendous resale value on drop day. And if you are able to sell your comic for a premium, use these gems to purchase more exclusive grail books, ideally in our top five rankings. I do expect this book to dip in the future since this character is not yet introduced into the MCU, so you could have an opportunity to buy back at a lower price. Also, if you would like to see our weekly comic book rankings, please make sure to follow us on Twitter at Comics and Crypto. We will have a new VV comic book rankings every Monday. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and also our podcast. We are currently on Apple, Spotify, and Amazon. Along with our weekly episodes, we will also be doing a huddle or sell video the day before every drop to help you make the best decision for your collection. Also, a special thanks to Nine Finger for their incredible intro music. You can find them on Instagram at ninefinger999. Make sure to stop by and give them some love. Thank you again, everyone, for tuning in, and we'll see you soon.